，在加拿大的安大略省的北方，有一个由 Cree 族族人组成的摇滚乐团，成立两年之后，最近才发表首张专辑。原住民族唱歌说，唱歌不只是唱歌。团员表示，希望借由音乐创作的力量，打破非原住民族社会对第一民族族人的刻板印象。在录音室里面的乐团，乐团的名称叫做 Midnight Shine。四位团员全是来自 Ontario 省北部的 Cree 族人。最近首次发表乐团专辑 ，Midnight Shine 强调，专辑收录的歌曲题材全是关于第一民族族人的生活。例如这一首 James Bay， 就是关于 a t a w a p i s c a 第一民族地区一个北冰洋海湾的故事。You know, it talks about the people from James Bay and、uh, some of the uh, um, some of the sort of brings a little bit of awareness about who we are and、um, just how strong and how much pride people have there. 结合民谣摇滚和草根摇滚风格的 Midnight Shine 团员表示，希望能够利用音乐的力量，打破非原住民族族人对第一民族族人的刻板印象。Being from Madawapiskat, you know, we've we've been in the media for for the last few years, and it's it, there's been a you know media frenzy about our community, and a lot of it's been very negative commentary.、Um, and to me, I, you know, I'd be lying if I said it didn't hurt me, or you know, I, it, because it, it does, it bothers me, and、uh, I think that's where I get a lot of inspiration from. Midnight Shine 乐团表示，借由音乐的力量，希望能够鼓励大家以正面的态度迎接人生中的各种挑战。There could be messages of hope, you know. There's messages of struggle with our、uh, <coughs> our singer, you know, writing the music, and we're we're just basically here just to help him convey his message. 二零一一年八月，由于在 Ontario 省北部的一个小城市举行的音乐会里，节目出现空档，主办单位在音乐会前三天才把今天的 Midnight Shine 乐团成员凑在一起。尽管过去从来没有合作过，但从此就成为紧密的创作伙伴。目前 ，Midnight Shine 正准备发行第二张专辑，并且在加拿大各地出席多个音乐节，试图以现场演唱的力量吸引乐团粉丝支持。记者邱德正编译。